In a recent event, Elon Musk discussed a new type of battery technology they're working on called tabless lithium cells. It's an 18650, but whereas they normally have a tab in each end of the cell module inside the battery, welded onto the case, this is a new approach to the batteries that will theoretically not need a tab on at least one end. And I was contemplating how is he going to achieve this, and I think I know what him and his battery scientists are up to. So let's talk about this. The normal lithium cell in an 18650 case is composed of the anode and cathode materials, which are spiraled round with each other in what they call a jelly roll, jelly roll but with layers of uh, dielectric separators between them, and then they're soaked in electrolyte. The negative electrodes are made of copper with a coating of graphite, and the positive electrodes are made of aluminium with a coating of a lithium metal oxide. Very little lithium in actual lithium cells. It's basically, that's why they're called lithium ion cells, because it is mainly about transferring the lithium ions uh, from side to side. But the normal approach to making these is to have a foil, and the foil usually has a tab round at the middle, about the middle, just spot welded onto it. And these foils are wrapped round with a fairly decent overlap of the separator so they can't short together. Now, this is unfortunately where certain manufacturers have fallen down and had a bit of, bit of an incident. When they've tried to cheat, when they've tried to basically maximise the amount of chemistry by continuing those electrodes right up to the very end, uh, right up to the point there's just very little separator between them, and then the battery gets dented and they get shorted together. And, well, Samsung, that's all I need to say. But the gist is here that you've got these separators and you've got these tabs and foils and there's a couple of weaknesses to this. That's fine for little batteries like this that don't have to deal with a lot of current because those little tabs are only connected at one point on that foil. And it means there is a kind of, there is a sort of voltage gradient across the foil when current is being drawn. It's not a very even operation. So what would be really good would be if instead of having a tab, the whole edge of the foil was actually connected. And I reckon I know what Elon Musk is up to. I reckon that he's going to use a technique called scoopage. Or his battery scientists are going to do that. Scoopage is something that you, you come across all the time without realising it. It's named after a guy called Max Scoop, uh, who is a Swiss engineer, who developed a way to connect onto metal foil capacitors and connect all evenly to the complete end of the foil, resulting in a very low equivalent series resistance in the capacitor. It meant they could deliver very high current, very efficient. There's a picture from Wikipedia here that I can show you that displays scoopage. Here is the role of the foils, the metallized foils that form the capacitor. And the end of it is sprayed with a conductive layer. That is effectively sprayed on solder, which bridged all the ends of the foil that were sticking out that end. So it's going to result in slightly different construction. Now, I'm going to link down below in the description to that article on Wikipedia because I actually learned something while I was reading it. I did not realise that high voltage capacitors actually have multiple sections of foil on the same plastic separator, meaning that you actually effectively have multiple multiple capacitors in series in these uh, cases, which increases the voltage rating for a given electro, electro, uh, dielectric. It's very clever. I didn't know that. However, the interest bit here is, that here's the separators, but the difference is that the copper and the aluminium foils are now just going to protrude right up to the end very slightly. And then scoopage is going to be applied. Allow me to apply scoopage. So the end is potentially going to be sprayed with a conductive layer that will bridge all those negative connections together. And at the other end, and this is going to get a bit more complex because the positive electrode, uh, I'm not going to call them anode and cathode, I'll explain that later. Uh, the This is aluminium. And they must be able to connect onto that because I'm pretty sure that these capacitors also use uh, the aluminium sort of coating. I'm not sure about that. 
Aluminium is quite a messy material to work with. If you think that capacitor looks familiar, by the way, you may have seen one inside your local friendly capacitive dropper LED lamp. It's these big capacitors here. Basically a spiral of foil and insulating uh, film. With the foil, often the conductive layer actually deposited directly on the metal film. This almost suggests that, you know, this could just be the start of a new variant on lithium cells that is going to use that same technology as capacitors. It's going to become a hybrid, this same construction as capacitor, but with the chemistry of a lithium cell. Now, let's talk about the anode and cathode here because it's worth mentioning. In a battery, the anode is the bit that releases electrons. And when you charge up these batteries, and this is where you're just going to have to detach yourself from conventional electron theory here. Normally you think that current flows from positive to negative, right? That's how we normally work. And to be fair, you know, positive, there's a diode. The arrow points in the direction it goes to negative. In reality, they discovered after they'd set up conventional current theory that electrons actually flow from negative to positive. Embarrassing. So instead of turning all the diodes around, they just said, well, just say the only people that really need to worry about where electrons flow are the, the rocket scientists, the actual battery chemists. So here's the interesting thing. When you charge a battery, what you're actually doing is you're actually transferring the electrons. When you apply the voltage cross this to charge it, the electrons go from the aluminium electrode, the positive electrode, with the lithium metal oxide, the electrons actually transfer through the electrolyte and the separators and they go into the graphite on the negative electrode. And from there, the only way back is to either slight leakage, and it's not much in lithium cells, they are quite frankly a miracle. But uh, the normal path back is from the negative electrode through your load, whether it's LEDs or electric cars, back to the positive electrode. And because the electrode that releases the electrons is called the anode, the negative in a battery is called the anode, which is very confusing. So um, I've drawn it black here, but that's actually the anode and it's negative. It's just one of these things. However, the question is, if Tesla's gurus of battery technology do apply that coating to the end, first of all, if they apply the scoopage, they're going to have to do it once the uh, electrolyte's in, because how else are they going to actually get the electrolyte in? I'm not sure. It's a complex subject, but then the batteries are a complex subject. There's a lot more to them than meets the eye, but let's just say that lithium technology is a miracle. So I was thinking then, they could either, what they're going to end up with is this big slug of battery, right? And it's going to have a metal, metalized coating on one end and metalized coating on the other. And I suppose they could just stick it into a case with basically a spring there and the cap that goes on the other end could also have a spring. But you can't apply too much pressure because if you apply too much pressure down onto this sandwich of separators and foils, then there's the risk that you're going to crumple them together and you're going to end up making contact with the other electrode and shorting out, which is a an issue, so you can't apply too much uh, longitudinal pressure on them. However, it's possible that if they had the jelly roll and they ended the separators but continued the uh, negative electrode, which is the copper one, along round the outside, you could end up with a copper tube with the scoopage at the end here. And if that was made of close enough fit, I don't know how much expansion contraction is involved in these batteries, but theoretically that could be pressed down into here and that would provide intimate contact between the copper and the steel case, which is not a bad electrical connection. What we don't want here is bad connections because this is a, this is a lithium cell that's going to be used in electric cars and the idea is that if they can increase the heat dissipation which is another advantage of scoopage because basically speaking the whole end of the file will actually be able to dissipate heat out and carry the current so higher current higher heat dissipation better all round but um the question then is that uh i've, I've just completely lost where i was going there uh, the heat dissipation the scoopage yet yeah, how are they going to actually ensure there is a good electrical connection onto this? Especially at the top, 
where the scoopage is onto the aluminium. And there's quite a complex mechanism in the, the positive cap of the battery because it also has the safety mechanisms that not just a vent for excessive pressure, but also it can potentially disconnect the battery. It's got a little sort of click switch that goes up and it will disable the battery if it reaches a high pressure state inside. So uh, maybe that's why he's talking about perhaps just using one tab and it will be on the positive end of the battery going up onto the, that mechanism. The other option is they could just have a spring, but a spring again makes a bad connection. This is complex. But that is my take on <clears throat> Elon Musk's and his rocket scientist's current approach with batteries that they are going to apply the metallization onto the end and that will theoretically make manufacturing easier, uh, increase the current capability of the cells, increase the heat dissipation of the cells and um, ultimately the negative is the tends to get the hottest anyway so that's quite good because it's onto the case. It's not so critical dissipating heat out the top. But uh, it's an interesting thing. I'm very interested to see what direction they go. But that's it. That's me laid my cards on the table I reckon that the secret to Elon Musk and his rocket scientist tabless battery is going to be scoopage. Thanks to Max Scoop, the scientist who came up with the idea of spraying metallization onto the end of the electrodes at like that. It'll be interesting, very interesting to see where this goes because uh, lithium cells, they're evolving incredibly fast. So there we go. Let's see what happens, and if you've got an idea, if you've got your own thoughts about this, leave them down in the description, in the comments down below, and tell me what you think, if you think I'm perhaps going the right direction here. <laughs>